Good morning, Madam President. Good morning. Commissioners, Fire Chief Terraza, City Attorney, Ms. Iningas, Eric Scott, Fire Captain, Paramedic, and Public Information Officer. Uh, this morning, we are honored to recognize a Chief Officer that is uh, no stranger to this podium, but he had saved a choking woman's life at the Taste of Soul Festival in 94's first in. At this point, we'd like to ask Assistant Chief Jamie Moore to please uh, stand near the podium. The incident took place on a Saturday morning in October of last year, and Chief Moore was performing a walkthrough of the Taste of Soul event, which as many of you know is dubbed uh, Los Angeles' largest street festival, and they feature soulful food from local communities and live entertainment. But as uh, Chief Moore, along with Battalion Chief Afonso Ruiz and Firefighter Michael Kramer were checking on the placement of fire department apparatus at that event, he had heard a sound of a woman screaming from across Crenshaw Boulevard. So looking across the street, he could see a woman that was slouching over. She was sitting in a folding chair. A man was standing next to her. Another woman nearby was panicking. So Chief Ruiz immediately notified Crenshaw IC of the incident, and Chief Moore began to run across the street. Now, while he was crossing, he could tell that the woman in the chair was in distress. The gentleman was trying to do anything he could to help. And once he reached the woman, he recognized that she was choking on something. She had her hands around her throat as the universal sign of someone choking. She was no longer passing air, and she was actually starting to turn blue. So he asked the gentleman to please step aside. He grabbed the woman, stood her up, and Chief Moore then began to tell her that he was going to give her several really strong hugs from behind. He proceeded to perform three abdominal thrusts, actually caused the woman to vomit that dislodged the object from her throat. And then at that point, members from Engine 34 provided a full medical assessment, and they provided first care. So as you can imagine, the woman was very grateful for what Chief Moore had uh, performed. She explained that she was sitting there talking with her husband and with some friends in a conversation, enjoying the great food. And then she began choking on a French fry that became lodged in her throat. She had tried to cough it out, but she couldn't. Her throat began to spasm, and she realized she was choking, but felt that there was really nothing she could do to rectify the situation. So fortunately, the quick actions of Chief Moore uh, took that day, saved this woman's life. Uh, the woman was taken over to a nearby medical tent by Chief Ruiz. She was able to get checked out by a doctor, and fortunately, it was not very long after that that she was released with a clean bill of health she was able to return back to that exact chair that she was sitting in and to share that afternoon with family and friends, almost as if nothing had happened. At this point, we'd like to read the certificate. In recognition and sincere gratitude for your heroic courage, diligent efforts, personal initiative, and expedient assistance, which directly resulted in the saving of a life of a woman during a choking emergency on October 20th, 2018, at the Taste of Soul community event in Crenshaw, the Los Angeles Fire Department commends you for your extraordinary life-saving efforts to a citizen of the City of Los Angeles presented this fifth day of March 2019, Ralph M. Terrazas, Fire Chief. I was trying to remember when I first met Jamie Moore and I just confirmed that I met him when he was hired in the drill tower. I was a peer group instructor. So that's been 30 years? No, sir. Uh, almost 25. 25 years. <laughs> it just feels like 30 years. <laughs> so I have followed his career as a firefighter, as a staff assistant. He was in Battalion 5 for many years with Chief Miller, uh, Battalion Chief, and now Assistant Chief in South Bureau. He's been an outstanding member of our department. Uh, whenever called upon, he steps up and performs above and beyond. So to hear a story of, of him performing those three hugs is not surprising. Um, we have our members on a daily basis doing things off duty. In this case, it wasn't his normal job responsibility to be looking to provide first care. But when they come across, whether they're off duty or in the scenario like Chief Moore, they step up and, and they do what has to be done. And I think our families become used to that as well. 
um, when we're traveling in a car and we come across a traffic accident or a fire. I know when I look in the audience, we can all recall memories of telling your family, stay in the car, um, I gotta take care of this. And we perform first aid or we put out the fire, we do what we do, then we come back and get in the car and continue like nothing happened because that's what we do. People who pursue the career of firefighters are passionate, dedicated people. And the example of Chief Moore is another example of him doing that, like it's just another normal day. But what he did was save the life of a woman who was choking. So for that, we're extremely grateful, extremely proud, and I'm very happy to recognize uh, the courageous work of Chief Moore. Congratulations, Chief. Well, I'd, <clears throat> I'd like to say thank you. I'm very humbled by this recognition uh, and grateful for it. Uh, Chief Draws is absolutely right. We have 106 fire stations and various bureaus with sections like, like our Fire Prevention Bureau, EMS Bureau, all of our four bureaus that have individuals who would have done the very same thing that I did that day. And um, I think I was about as surprised to find out I was being recognized for this act as the woman was when I stood behind her and started squeezing her and giving her those thrusts, those abdominal thrusts to try to get that piece of food lodged out of her, out of her throat. So I'm just grateful for the outcome. Uh, the woman was extremely happy. I checked on her several times throughout the rest of the day, her and her husband. They had a fantastic time. For those of you who've never been to the Taste of Soul event, I encourage you to come visit it. It is an absolutely amazing community event. Um, and you get to see our firefighters throughout the uh, venue uh, who are there to do exactly what I did that day. And Chief's right. It was just one of those things that I did. And uh, Chief Ruiz and I just continued with the rest of our day running the event. And it was an incredibly successful event. And, and this just added to it. So thank you very much. Uh, appreciate all of your support. And, and I'm very grateful for this.